here with our first game today against RB25. So currently 907 rated. We've had a couple of losses recently and a few draws, so we're looking to increase the rating. So I'm playing with the white pieces, starting out with a pawn, followed by the knights. I'll put another pawn in the centre. He comes with a bishop, no worries. I'll match that threat with my bishop. He comes with a knight. So he's been very, very attacking here. However, I'm thinking if I take with the knight, he'll take... Okay, yeah, that's absolutely fine. So yeah, we, we trade pieces... The position is completely equal, a knight and a bishop each. So that's fine. So now I just need to move my knight out the way. There we go. He brings his... And look, to be honest, my knight in the middle there isn't doing too much. Like, he can pressure it with a pawn. Um, you, you know, I've, I've sort of escaped there. I'm not too confident. So I'm just going to accept that trade. We'll take that. I thought I was going to lose the knight. We've got an equal trade. That's That's absolutely fine. So now we castle, getting the king to safety, looking to get the rook and queen connected, get the rooks into the game. Now he brings his queen down, and I always try and think, what are they trying to accomplish? Um, but to be honest, I'm not 100% sure if this threatens anything particularly. So I'm really just thinking, I'm trying to take my time here to be honest, I think what's the best way about this, because... He might have some tactics I'm not sure about. So I'm obviously looking out for the queen coming down to h2, which obviously unprotected it can't do, but that, that is on my mind. So I'm thinking, how can I neutralise this threat? So I push the queen up, so on my next move, I can play bishop to f4 and kick the queen. Is my plan. He comes with a pawn, but we'll take. And I think the reason we take, if we go back a second there... So the reason I'm going to take that is because if I just played the bishop out, he could have taken my pawn, I'd have taken the queen, he'd have taken my queen. So, yeah, if I try and calculate that and I let him make the first move, I think it benefits him. So I'm just going to take to, whether or not my calculations are correct, I'm going to take neutralise the threat. He brings a bishop. Okay, no worries. So, so as I say, so of course my pawn in the centre is still protected by the queen. However, he's now supported his queen with the bishop. So if he now plays h2, that would be checkmate. So again, taking my time here, not wanting to lose a game over a silly avoidable checkmate. So I'm thinking the options here is, you know, slide my queen across to g3 and trade the material that way. Or what I think might be easier and give my king an escape square later down the line, which I always like, is push the pawn. So if we push the pawn there, how is he going to respond? Okay, so just just brings a pawn out. Okay, I mean, that doesn't really affect too much. My thinking here is he's going to try to slide the rook forward, bring it into the game. But to be honest, that doesn't worry me too much. So now we can bring the bishop and try to kick the queen. He moves the queen, of course. I'm now going to hit him in check. Okay, nice. So how is he going to respond to the check? Okay, right. So he puts the bishop back. Okay, nice. But So that bishop is now pinned to the king. It can't leave, basically. So I definitely think I'm in a good position here. And of course, there's a few pieces hanging. I could pick up some pawns nice and easy. I'm trying to think what would the best move be. And I think if we bring the king up, as I've just done there... The thinking behind this is that if I now move my bishop off of the f4 square and he takes my queen, which was previously unprotected, now I can take back with my king. So this has basically just allowed me to move my bishop again. Okay, but he castles and just hangs a he just hangs a bishop. Okay, so unless I'm missing something here, that's a that's a free piece. Which completely breaks the stalemate. That's great. Okay, he comes with a pawn. And I've got to be careful here because the last thing I want is for this pawn to come in, break things up, threaten my king, you know, box me into a corner. So I think... There we go. Okay, okay. So if I hit him in check, 
We'll ignore the pawn for a second. We're going to hit him in check. And the thinking behind this is that with my bishop solidified on f4 and protected by the pawn and the queen right now, hit him in check, protected by the bishop, the only legal move would be... Yeah, yeah, would be to slide his king across. Okay, so that's what he does. Oh my god, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. So, if I bring my rook, take the free pawn, discover check with the bishop, and I'm going to win... I'm going to... Ha ha, this is unreal. So, all he can really do in response to this is either let you know, bring his rook forward to block the attack, and I win the rook. Or, take with his queen, and I win a queen. And I win a queen. Oh, and we win it with check again. Wow, this is really going nicely for me. Okie dokie, so can we convert this? So we're basically a whole queen up. We're plus 12. This is great. Now we'll pick up that pawn that we are worried about. Just, just avoid any danger. Go back to that, pick it up. Nice. Uh, okay, see, I didn't really know what he's trying to achieve here, if I'm completely honest. I'm just sliding the rook across. So what I'm going to do is pick up the free pawn with my queen, now attacking that other pawn of his on g7. And again, I don't really know what he's trying to do here, so, but I'm going to go ahead with my little tactic I've got here. If we take that pawn and threaten the rook, I'm assuming he's going to take... I'm assuming he's going to take with his rook, and I'm just going to win a free rook. And then the next move will be mate, is what I'm hoping for. And he spends a while thinking about this move, about four minutes, and he brings his other rook down. But to be honest, my plan here is just to take back straight away. He gets me in check. I need to avoid the check. He slides across, but of course we can go straight to the eighth rank. Hit him in check. His one move left is to block it. And there's mate. Okay, brilliant. I mean, that's a great first game. That was, that felt like a pretty convincing win. I don't think I made any glaring mistakes, which is always good. We got the checkmate. And to be honest, it was a close game. It was only after he hung the bishop. And I found a really nice discovered check with my bishop. But yeah, yeah, very, very happy with that. So we'll see how the next game goes. Game two here, coming off the back of a nice win. We've got the free lonely stoner. Lovely. So he's going to come with the pawns, followed by the bishops. I'm going to copy. He attacks my pawn, I defend it. He brings his other knight. I'll do the same thing. Okay, he pushes a random pawn. I'll ignore that and just castle nice and early. He kicks my bishop. No worries, we'll bring it back. He kicks my knight. Okay, but we'll push it up. So we're attacking his bishop there. The Okay, but he takes a free pawn. I think we can win it back, though. So I'm now attacking his bishop and his knight. So I think that wins a pawn back. Oh, I didn't realise he had that. Okay, okay, so he's come with a bishop. He's getting me in check, and he's taking another pawn. So I've got two options here. I can either take with my rook, he'll take back with his knight, and then I'll take the knight. So I could either sacrifice the rook for the bishop and the knight. But, I don't know, I don't think that's the best move. That's going to put me down an awful lot of material. So I think we'll just go to safety. Okay. Now he moves out the way. Alright. And we take the knight. Okay, so there we go. So we win a knight. And just lose two pawns. Okay, so... Considering I thought I was doing pretty badly there, that's not a terrible start at all. So he castles now. I'll bring my knight, develop it out. Got good sight there on both diagonals in the centre. He pushes his knight to the side of the board. Again, like what's that really achieving? I, I don't think that worries me too much. And obviously I'm seeing his bishop on the left-hand side of the board. It is defended by the queen. But I'm thinking I could take that. Yeah, let's go for it, let's go for it. Okay, so now he's going to take back with the queen. Well, I, I assume he is anyway. Which we allow. But then we've got this move, which is quite nice. So we can hit... So we're hitting the 
the knight, which is free, but also the pawn in the centre. So how is he going to defend this? Okay, so he puts the knight to safety and defends the pawn. Okay, but if I can now hit the free rook, potentially, there could be a nice checkmate here, actually. So if he moves the rook out the way, I think we might be able to get a nice checkmate, actually. So yeah, if he moves the knight, uh, sorry, if he moves the rook, it's currently on f1 out of the way. With my rook defending on f8 currently, I can move my queen up. I can move my queen up to f2. Hit him in check. Win the rook on the next go, and it'll be a very quick checkmate. So if he moves the rook, it's going to be a forced checkmate, I believe. Will he do it? No. Ah, oh, okay, that's a shame. Okay, so he defends it with the knight. So he leaves the rook where it is, preventing that checkmate, and he defends with the knight. Okay, but by doing that, he hangs his rook, the one at the top right of the board there. So, I mean, maybe he's maybe he missed that. Maybe he calculated it and saw the checkmate coming. But we definitely take that. So what, we're plus six now. We're looking good. We're a lot lower on time, though. Bear in mind, I've taken a lot of... A lot of time making these choices. So I'm down to 4 minutes 24. So that is a concern. But plus 6 on material. He attacks my bishop. I move back attacking the queen. He moves out the way and hits the free pawn. Okay, but let's just attack it. See what he's going to do. Does he take the free pawn? No. Okay, so he brings the queen down. Okay, so he's hitting my bishop there on e7 that is currently hanging. So we either need to slide a rook underneath or move the bishop. And I think if we move the bishop up and attack the other one, see if he wants to trade bishops. No. Okay, not interested. No worries. No worries. So we'll bring the queen out of the way of the rook there. Okay, he comes down with the bishop. Okay, fair enough. But now I'll take the free pawn there. What's he going to do? Okay, so he comes with a queen. Okay, I mean, I'm plus four. But, you know, he, his pieces are a lot more active. And like the queen, the bishop, um, I do need to be careful. But he hangs a piece. So by bringing the queen and just taking the, the, the free pawn, he's missed a hanging knight. So... I mean, look, we're plus seven, but I'm just not confident in this position. I'm down to two and a half minutes. It sounds silly to say I'm at plus seven, but... And he has just hung that, uh, that night. But okay, how can we convert this then? How can we convert this? Okay, let's double up. Always looks threatening. He pushes a pawn, which is the escape square. That's a shame. If he didn't push that pawn, if it was in this position, and he uh, came with a rook or didn't come with a rook, either way, if I put my queen down there... He took the queen. That would then be a back rank checkmate. But he sees it come in, pushes a pawn. Okay, no worries. Okay, and ah, oh, here's a good one. So we can get both pieces here. So we've got, I'm defended. My rook is defended by the bishop. And I'm now hitting his bishop and his queen. So I think this should be a pretty forcing move. I mean, I should win some material. And what's he do? So he moves the queen out the way... Okay, I need to be really careful here. So, oh, okay, I'm very close to to being checkmate on the back rank myself. I'm thinking if I'm... Mm, okay, let's just play it safe. Let's play it safe. We're going to hit it. I'm defended by my bishop. We're not going to take any chances. Let's play that safe. Ah, but he comes with a pawn. Oh, my God, I'm down to... So, oh, oh. You know, I'm plus six, but like, he's one move away from promoting... And I've only got 20 seconds. But if we take the bishop, I can now stop him promoting, which I'll do and just sacrifice my rook. I'm down to four seconds. Oh, this is, I can't believe this. Now, I've been a piece up this whole game, but I've known in the back of my mind that I guess I've been moving a bit slow. I wasn't confident. Down to four seconds. I mean, is there any way I can say this with four seconds? So I'm going to try to set up a checkmate if possible. Okay, so my next move is going to be bringing the bishop in to where the queen just was on e4. And then it'll be a checkmate, hopefully. Okay, we do it. 
He sacrifices the queen. Okay, so look, the material wise, we're plus 11, but I've got two seconds. He pushes a pawn. Is there any way I can find a gap? Come on, is there any way I can find a gap? Oh, and I time out. Oh, that's such a shame. Oh, that's such a shame. I mean, that there's a timer for a reason, so I definitely deserve the loss, but. Oh, it's such a shame. I was in control the whole game. I was ahead of material all game. And we ran out of time. Couldn't convert. Ah, uh, I mean, hey ho. Right, we've had one win, one loss. Let's, let's see what the third game holds. Third and final game here. Unfortunately, just came off the back of a loss due to a timeout. But we got a nice win earlier, so another one would be good. Continuing that progression towards a thousand elo. So pawn out, supported by the knights. He comes with a bishop. I'm not too worried about this. So I'm just going to fight for the centre. If he takes on any position here, it's covered. Uh, I mean, I guess unless he... Yeah, it's, it's equal. I think it's equal. Yeah, I believe it's equal regardless of what happens. Okay, so there we go. He takes and we take back with the queen. We hit the bishop and we've still got the centre. So I, I think I'm in a good position. It's definitely a good, a reliable opening, I'll call it. He comes with his queen, which supports the bishop, so it's no longer hanging. I can't just take the bishop. However, as my pawn is protected, I can push and threaten the knight. So he's going to have to move the knight either to the edge of the board or back to the square it came from. So, I mean, that's a pretty good move there. Oh, but okay, so he ignores this and he just blocks the cover of the bishop there. So... I've currently got a hanging bishop, which I'm free to take. Or I could take the knight. And I'm going to take the hanging bishop. So, <laughs> I mean, he's blundered a piece very quickly there. So we're just a piece up. And, okay, so I'm just thinking I'm a piece up. This could be a nice, easy game. I just need to think of the best way to convert it. Although it is very early days. So to be honest, I'm thinking I'm material up. Oh, nice simplification, nice, easy game. Let's get the queens off the board. There we go. With the queens off the board, there's a lot less danger of this turning around, in my opinion. So he takes back. Okay, nice. And now we can take the free pawn that was hanging in the middle. So there we go. After all things considered, I'm plus three and nice and early. He comes with a bishop. I don't really know what he's trying to do here. I mean, like, he's hitting that pawn. If he wants to win a pawn, fair enough. But I've got a little tactic here of my own. So... I'm seeing that his rook is blocked in the corner currently. So I can move my knight up. I could dance it up the board. I could take the knight from c3 currently up to b5 and then to c7 and I will win the rook. However, if I do those two moves in a row, it's quite obvious. And my worry is that once I move the knight up to b5, he'd push the pawn on a7, which not only attacks my knight, but it gives the rook an escape square. So, if we ping the bishop, that would block that escape square. So, let's see how he plays this. Okay, right, he takes the pawn. I'm going to completely ignore that. I don't know why he's trying to win a pawn. And now I begin my move. So, unless his next move is moving that knight out the way to give his rook an escape square, I think I win the rook. And there we go. Okay, so he pushes the pawn like I thought he would. So, I'm glad I brought the bishop, actually, because now... His only escape square is covered by the bishop, so we win a rook. He brings a knight. Okay, I mean, this is interesting. This actually, I think, speeds the process up, because I can take the equal trade there with check. So he basically has to... Okay, I thought he was going to take with a pawn. Either way, I don't mind. We're going to take that rook now. So look, we've simplified it a lot quicker than I expected. And now he takes this rook, so I can get my knight out the way. Attacking that bishop. So I'm plus eight now. I mean, I'm a lot more confident here than I was in the last game. This definitely seems to have gone my way. Like, he hung the bishop. I got the queens off the board. We've got a rook. I don't see how this could go particularly wrong. So we're going to castle. He hits me in check. Okay, we'll move. He comes with the king. I mean, of course, my knight is protected by the bishop. So that's not really too much of a threat. Uh, so let's move two squares up, hit it in check. Of course, that bishop is protecting both pieces there, and the bishop is protected by the king. So we're nice and secure. I'm forming a bit of a web around the centre there. 
So the king's going to have to go. And because of the knight blocking, he's only got two escape squares. Either d5 or d6. And there we go. So he slides across. That's absolutely fine. And now I'm going to offer the bishop swap. See if he wants to trade pieces there. He doesn't. Okay, he just takes a pawn. And okay, so we've got an idea here. So he's attacking my rook. So, I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is move the rook to g1. Slide it across. Hit the bishop. When he moves out of the way, take the pawn. We could do that. Or, to continue trying to simplify this as quickly as possible, I'm thinking, if I move the rook that's currently on d1 across to c1, either he takes my rook and I take his, or, yeah, I mean, it's just an, it's an equal trade there, and that just, yeah, brings it down. So we're going to do that, see which one he wants to take. Either way, it's a rook for a rook. Either his bishop takes my rook and I take his, or he takes my rook and my rook slides across, and yeah, yeah, okay. But he ignores it, hits me in check. I mean, that's <laughs> that's basically just what I wanted anyway. So we'll make that trade. Okay, right, he trades with a bishop. I'm not going to take the rook. He'll take mine. Absolutely fine with plus seven. Hit the pawns. He tries to... Okay, he blocks a pawn, but we take the other one. He threatens my rook, but we take another pawn. <laughs> okay, I mean, I think this should be over pretty soonish. He takes a pawn of his own, but that's fine. I'll take another one. He defends one pawn, but he can't defend the other. Okay, this is... Yeah, this is very rapidly going in my favour here. So I just need to try and convert this without stalemating, without anything silly. So let's hit that bishop. Of course, I'm protected by the knight on d4. See how he responds. Okay, slides out of the way, no worries. Now I'm going to think about queening, pushing up the board, keeping my pawns on the dark squares is the plan here going forward. Because obviously he's got a light square bishop. So any piece on a dark square is safe. So that's my plan, I believe. See what... Oh, okay. <laughs> and he resigns the game there. He resigns the game there. Okay, I mean, I was ahead from the start there. I think he was quite unfortunate. He, I don't know, it was a bit of a blunder early on. He should have just moved the knight, but instead lost a bishop. And as soon as the queens went, yeah, that was that. So very good, convincing win there. So what's that? Two wins, one loss. I mean, it shouldn't have even been a loss, but it is what it is. So good progress today. Thank you for watching.